All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today what I'm going to share with you is going to be my desk setup video. And I'm going to share with you the things that I use to create my video as well as to run my business day to day. As I've gotten a lot of messages on my social media channels as well as through my email asking me um, to share this and to share what I'm using currently and why I've chosen to use these accessories and these hardwares. So the price for these products fluctuates on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you want to get the latest price for all of these products, so make sure you check out the links in the description down below. And once again, if you do like tech videos just like this one and accessory recommendations, I highly recommend that you do subscribe because I know a lot of you are watching this video and haven't subscribed to the channel. It really does help the channel grow and it does not cost you anything. And one more important thing is that if you have any recommendations for um, things that are helping you to create content or run your business, let me know in the comment section down below the products that you're using or the different hardwares. Let's start off with the most important thing, the centerpiece, which kind of um, I built my desk around, which is gonna be this M1 Mac Mini. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail about the Mac Mini as well as the unboxing and the review. The review is still coming out for this Mac Mini, but I've done the unboxing. I'll leave it in the description down below for you to check out afterwards. But for my build, I've gone with the 16 gigs of RAM, the one terabytes of storage. And unfortunately, I only had the option of choosing the silver option, uh, not the space gray. I personally would have preferred to have a space gray option because my phone, my keyboard, and my trackpad, they're all space gray, except for the Mac mini. But nonetheless, I actually love using my Mac mini and is able to handle all the tasks that I personally use for creating content as well as running my business. Now, right next to the Mac mini is gonna be the Samsung T7 hard drive. Now, the reason why I purchased this is because I've only gone with the one terabyte storage for the Mac mini, because that's something that I was most comfortable with using. And that was a sweet spot for me. The T7 is just the external hard drive in case I need to store some extra files. Now to go from the one terabyte storage to the two terabyte storage, it would have cost me around 500 bucks, but this T7 external hard drive only cost me $118. So the next big thing and the most important thing for this desk setup will be the monitor, which is gonna be this beautiful curved monitor. Now this monitor is a 34 inch ultra wide Samsung monitor. And I purchased this specifically for the Mac mini M1. A couple of important things about this monitor is the fact that it's able to connect with an HDMI cable as well as the most important thing is Thunderbolt 3 connection. You can actually connect this display to a Thunderbolt 3 port on your laptop or computer. And for myself, it's going to be the Mac mini and this actually transforms into a dock. So that's actually pretty interesting and something that I really like. But unfortunately right now I'm only using the HDMI port because if I am going to use the Thunderbolt 3 port, I'm actually sacrificing one of the two ports available on the Mac mini at the present moment. So this monitor is a 4K monitor with a resolution of 1340 by 1400. It's a great display, everything is crisp and clear. Now this display has an amazing resolution and an even better screen refresh rate. This is actually considered a gaming monitor, but I love it for the 100 hertz refresh rate. Everything feels super smooth. And like I mentioned earlier, there's a great way to expand the IO ports by using the Thunderbolt 3 option. And you don't have to pay any extra money to buy a docking system. Now with this monitor, it does come with speakers, which are not gonna be amazing compared to an external speaker, but they do get the job done for me. Um, they're decent for watching videos on YouTube as well as Apple TV, TV shows, and on Netflix. So the next thing that I'm gonna talk about is gonna be the keyboard, trackpad, and mouse. Now, before I jump into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the future videos and make sure you hit the like button if you have liked the content so far. And as always, if you have any recommendations for the monitor, leave them down below in the description. But let's start off with the next most important thing for me, which is gonna be the keyboard. So I've gone with the Magic Keyboard with the numeric trackpad. And now I've done a previous unboxing video and a review video for the trackpad and the keyboard where I mentioned that if I use this keyboard for a prolonged period of time, that my wrist would get tired, but that's actually not true because I've been using this keyboard daily and I've hadn't had any issues you know, with my wrist having pain, my arms hurting or anything of that sort. And I personally recommend this keyboard if you're planning on purchasing a Mac with the M1 chipset because initially I had some Bluetooth issues with my M1 Mac mini, but with the updates, I'm not experiencing those issues, but I haven't experienced that same issue ever since these updates have started rolling in but there are some issues that are still plaguing the Mac mini with the M1 chipset, 
which I'll get to later on in the video. Now with this keyboard, there's two options. One is with this numeric pad on the side, and the other option is gonna be without the numeric trackpad. Personally, for my business day to day, I do require that trackpad on the side. If you don't wanna spend the extra money, then you can obviously go for the one without the trackpad. So one of the benefits and the drawbacks for this keyboard is gonna be the fact that it charges with only a lightning port. Now, personally, I have mentioned this in the past several videos behind is the fact that I would have loved to see this keyboard and the trackpad to go fully USB-C, but unfortunately the Apple hasn't released that yet and I'm hoping in the future that they do. So moving on to the next thing to use with this Mac mini and is gonna be the Magic Trackpad. I highly recommend this as someone that came from a MacBook Pro towards you know the Mac mini world, um, the trackpad is actually the same size as the one that's found on the MacBook Pros and I haven't had any issues with this trackpad transitioning from, you know, basically a MacBook Pro to a Mac Mini. It felt like the exact same trackpad that I was using on my MacBook Pro on this Mac Mini setup. And this is by far the best investment and the best accessory that you can purchase for the Mac Mini, any Apple product that it's compatible with. And one thing that I do have to point out is that this is such an amazing accessory and anyone who uses this trackpad is shocked with how smooth it is and how amazing it is with the different gestures you're able to use on iOS as well as Mac OS. One thing I do have to point out with this particular trackpad is the battery life is not as great as expected because I was expecting to be charging at least once a month. I'm finding myself charging it at least twice a week. So I don't know if I'm using this too much compared to what Apple has recommended, but it's not a big deal for me. If that is a big deal for you, let me know in the comment section down below. After using it for a week, it comes down to about 40% for me. Now, same thing with the keyboard. This trackpad is also powered through the lightning port. So you do have to have a lightning adapter to charge your trackpad as well as your keyboard. So talking about trackpads and keyboards, the next Mac mini accessory that I recommend to anybody is gonna be this Logitech MX Master 3. Now, I don't use it as much as my trackpad, but the reason why I have purchased the Logitech MX Master 3 is a much more comfortable mouse compared to the trackpad. And I use it when my workflow involves a lot of clicks such as video editing or photo editing. It's actually perfect for me when my wrists get tired from using the trackpad. That's when I transition over to the Logitech Tech MX Master 3. Now, as I mentioned, all these accessories do connect by Bluetooth. Switching from one accessory to another is no issue at all. I haven't noticed any issues where the mouse has stopped working, but rather the fact that the functionality of the buttons on the side, the gestures on the MX Master 3 stop working after five to 10 minutes. And in order for me to have them up and running again, I kind of have to reset the mouse, turn it off and turn it on, which is kind of annoying. That's something that I really wish that either Logitech or Apple addresses this as soon as possible. The scroll wheel on this MX Master 3 is buttery smooth. And if you're one of those folks that likes to have a tactile feel of this mouse, then you can turn on this feature with the touch of a button. I don't have any external speakers that I have connected to my Mac mini, but what I do use up to this date is gonna be the Sony XM1000 Mark Threes. I love these headphones, um, no issue whatsoever. Still getting me like 20 to 30 hours of charge. Amazing audio quality. I haven't experienced any Bluetooth issues with the Sony 1000s with the Mac mini M1s. So that's something that I use when I'm actually taking phone calls or especially when I'm editing videos for my YouTube channel because I wanna be able to listen to every single detail that I have recorded. Now, when I'm not using my XM3s, I prefer using my AirPods Pros. These are probably one of the best accessories that I have purchased and I highly recommend anybody who has either a Mac or an iPad or an iPhone to buy either the AirPods Pros or just the normal AirPods. They're absolutely amazing. I love it for the functionality features and I've just done a full review for the AirPods and it's gonna go over everything that I have experienced with the AirPods and some of the things that I liked and some of the things I didn't like. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this desk setup video and what I use on my day-to-day -day stuff for creating YouTube videos as well as running my business on a day-to-day -day basis. So I hope this video was something that you enjoyed watching and as always, let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are about this video and any recommendations that you have for any accessories. So thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you guys have a really good day and I can't wait to bring you more videos. So make sure you subscribe and share this video.